Hello everyone, Robert Rambles here and welcome to The Witcher 3. It is 2021 now and one of my resolutions for this year is to play some of the games that I've had on the back burner for a long time while I've been prioritizing other things. And The Witcher 3 is at the very top of that list. I've also picked up reading the Witcher books again and I'm hoping that's going to help me add some context to the world and the story and the historical events that have happened in the universe. So I'm not going to say much more, I'm going to get right into things here, and we're going to start up a new game. We're going to do a fresh start. And we're going to start off on Blood and Broken Bones, and if that gets too easy for us, we'll, we'll, we will move up to Death March from there. Uh, we'll keep the tutorials on that way for some of you guys. If you've never seen The Witcher 3 before, you'll be able to see some of the tutorial stuff, and I'll explain some things as we go. Not sure why, but the volume in that cutscene is always quieter than the rest of the volume, no matter what happens to the volume settings.
you know I don't find that amusing. So rude. It wasn't meant to amuse, but to prod you to hurry. It's midday already. You promised Siri you'd train with her. Go before Vesemir bores her to death with those etchings. So, later then. Hmm. See you later. Well, let's do as we're told and get the day underway here. Shit. Mountain Pass is beautiful as ever. You're running out of juice. I know. You might bring me some more once you're done training. Gooseberries, of course. Geralt, stop fingering my toiletries. Witcher's fast asleep. Ciri's disappeared somewhere, of course. Guess she prefers practice to theory. Hmm? Why? Time to wake up, Master. These lessons so boring they put you to sleep too? Damn it. Better taking notes on ghouls and owl ghouls. Wanted to rest my eyes a bit. <laughs> Making her slog through that brick? No wonder she took off. John of Bruges lacks flair, true, but he's reliable. Not like the hogwash they print nowadays. She's tackling the pendulums, right? How many times do I have to tell her? Don't train alone. It only embeds your errors. Bring our young damsel to the lower courtyard. If she wants to practice, she'll get to practice. Don't get mad at her. Why the hell not? The whippersnapper refuses to do as she's told. You like that about her? <laughs> Fine. I suppose I'm partly to blame. But this has to end. Now. Killing monsters is not something to be taken lightly. Siri must understand that if she's to become one of us. I'll see you below. Wrong. Now I see why you were so eager to practice. Strike. You're 
out in this circus, pirouette. Wrong. Footwork. Enough. Get down. With a flip? What do you think? All right. Take off the blindfold. You've got work to do. Your reflexes are still slow. Maybe for a witcher. Think drowners or striggers will go easy on you because you haven't undergone the mutations? Though in your shoes I'd fear Vesemir more than any strigger. Disobeying his instructions? Unwise. Well, yes, but that book was horribly dull. I know, and you know that's no excuse. <sighs> I'm sorry. It won't happen again. Better not. Vesemir said if it does, he'll make you eat a bowl of slugs covered in salt. <laughs> you! Exactly. So you'd best behave. Come on, we'll practice with the others down below. Shall we run the walls? Of course. This a witcher school or an elven bathhouse? Beat you to the bottom. <laughs> Maybe if you fall. All right, let's run the walls. I am playing on a keyboard and mouse, so we will see how that goes. What did I tell you about breathing? Through your mouth, in rhythm with your steps. Siri, cut it out. Anything to say for yourself, young lady? I'm very sorry, Uncle Vesemir. Young blood craves action, I understand that. But when you fight a beast, knowledge counts as much as your silver sword. At the very least, you ought to be able to tell a ghoul from an owl ghoul. By markings, like unto the Panthera Tigris that in Zeracania dwells, and by the sickly paleness of its visage. Hmm. So you did read the chapter. Still, you should have asked if... But you were asleep, Uncle Vesemir. <laughs> so you did the reading. Why not admit it right off? Never pounce on an advantage as soon as it appears. Wait till it stands to have maximum effect. Uncle Vesemir's words. Well, you're a quick study. Quick but mischievous. Fine, we've talked enough. Geralt, you're with me, Lambert with Eskel, Ciri with a dummy. Again? Stop groaning and grab a sword. To the dummy with you. What do you think? Should we start by reviewing the fundamentals or go right to free training? Well, let's do the fundamentals, and then I'm going to check my key bindings. Should work on the basics. Even skilled masters need to hone the fundamentals, and Ciri's barely a novice. Draw your sword, Geralt! Yeah, yeah, we'll draw our sword in a minute. Let's check a few settings here. I want to check audio. And then we're going to check key bindings. Okay, good. It's I went in to an older save and I changed my key bindings. I wanted to make sure that it saved that for this playthrough. Let me double check here. Alright, yep. Witchers must be prepared to fight all kinds of foes. The core of our trade are swords. We'll also have signs and we'll use alchemy.
Press U to select or deselect targets. Hmm. Don't really like that keybind. Quick cuts. One, two, three. Alright, I actually have my target lock set to my F6 key. Position Siri. Footwork. Remember. Blow is a fly trapped in amber today. Do it again. Had enough? Now, parry. Siri, see how Geralt holds his sword, its angle. Pretend now, live later. Repost! Strike! Counter strike! Maybe the storm's coming. Slice the jugular! And Now, young lady, to bring the day to a close, we'll go over a few witches' signs. Let's start with Gwen. Quen is sometimes called the Witch's Shield. Now watch carefully to see why. Cast Igni, Geralt. I want to see sparks fly. See? If not for the Quen sign, I'd be aflame by now. Knock anyone or anything off balance. No. Destroy their. Time for Axie. Damn it. I hate this feeling. Come on. Ugh. Axie can really muddle your mind. Erda now. Show her, Geralt. No. See this, Siri? Couldn't move. Throw a bomb. Don't worry, Siri. Quen will dampen the blow. Oh, I guess it's going to go right there and we're not going to have to calculate the trajectory at all. Come on. That's good. Fine. Enough. Continue training at will. That's good for now.
Whoa! You really showed him, kid. Siri, get down here. <laughs> A little she-devil. Soon as she's back, we'll set her to polishing all the swords at Care Morhen. Yeah, the actual cutscene volume for voices are is really quiet. Have to take another look at the audio settings and see. Siri. Uh, I'll make sure to find every last blade for you. You all right? <laughs> Had a nightmare. About? It'd take forever to explain. Dawn, some way off. We've got time. Started in the guest room at Kaer Morin. I was relaxing in the tub and next to me... Tris? Yennefer. Funny, isn't it? She's never been there. Seemed so real in my dream, though. Was she nagging you about something? <laughs> mm -hmm. True to life, indeed. We'll find her. In the dream, I went and found Ciri. Then we trained. Those were the days. Hmm. Little she-devil. I've trained kids who were faster, stronger. But none had her character. Didn't end well, did it? Your dream. No. A wild hunt appeared, attacked Ciri. I couldn't move, stood there like a stump. It was just a dream. That's the problem. It was more. In the past, when Ciri'd appear in my dreams, something was wrong. She was in danger. We taught her how to defend herself from anything, wraiths included. So a little background of the Wild Hunt that we are supposed to know at this point is that they are uh, magic, magical wraiths that Geralt had actually been ensnared or somehow enslaved to working for them or with them for a period of time. And then he f was freed somehow, and it was after that that he lost his memory for a while, if I'm remembering things correctly. So we don't know at this point exactly who the Wild Hunt is, uh, but Geralt did serve them unwillingly for a time and then managed to get away. And he doesn't remember how, and we don't know how at this point. Those were things that happened uh, a long see. time ago. Time to go. Chronologically. Wait. Show me the letter from Yennefer. Might have overlooked some hint in there. Didn't overlook anything. We were meant to meet in Willoughby. That's what she wrote. Meanwhile, one army or another burned the village to the ground. All we can do is follow her trail, so... Stop talking for a minute and give me the letter. Hmm. How about that? It does smell of lilac and gooseberries. You were gonna read it, not sniff it. 
We must meet soon. Willoughby near Vizima. Hmm. Nothing else to guide us there. What's this postscript? I still have the unicorn? That's private. Very private. Aha. I understand. At least I think I do. Maybe not entirely, but perhaps that's for the best. <laughs> Back on topic. How's it look? How far behind Yennefer are we? Two or three days. Trail's fresh. But it looks like it leads towards the main road. Could be muddled there. Wait, hear that? I hear it. I smell it. Ghouls. Life on the continent and in the Skellig Isles is nasty, brutish, and short. War lays waste to the land, and those it spares live in fear of the countless monsters lurking outside every town and village. Monsters are shown with a silver health bar above their heads, indicating that you should fight them with your silver sword. Whoa, okay. Uh, let's target you then. I think uh, we're I think we're getting kicked by Roach. <laughs> That's what it seemed like. Of course, when armies pass, necrophages follow. Let's go before any more show up. You can regenerate vitality by eating or drinking or by meditating for at least an hour. Note, while playing on Blood and Broken Bones and Death March, meditation does not regenerate vitality. Food and drink can be placed in our consumable slots for quick access. Alright, we know that. Alright, sorry, still getting used to my keybinds. I have a couple of things really shifted around from the default controls that I think are going to work better in the long run for me, but I'm just trying to get used to where my dodge is and things like that. All right, let's get on Roach. Where did he go? She. Bird skull in black crystal. Ooh. Why do I? All right, telling us about our character screen here. We're gonna check all this stuff out anyway. Alright, so we can't investigate it any more than that, but we need it this is to complete a quest. Ever tell you about this sorcerer I knew? Couldn't stop talking about how useful they are as creatures. Because you can brew potions from their blood? <laughs> no, because by eating rotting corpses they prevent epidemics. Hmm. Did he know they eat the living as well? No. Really upset him too. His theory collapsed. War is not exactly going our way. We have a side. The Northern Realms. Radovid's realms, don't you mean? Tamaria and Edern are no more. Radovid's pledged to restore the old borders as soon as he wins the war. Believe that? <laughs> Gotta believe something. It's what keeps us going. I'm always astonished by how beautiful the lighting and just all of the graphics are in this game. Come on now. We going? Help me! Help! Yikes. 
I don't think the horse is gonna make it. That was close. I was sure I'd end up like my mare. Provided you got lucky. Your horse died quickly, but griffins like to toy with their prey. Eat it alive, piece by piece. Oh. <laughs> you'd... you'd like a reward, I suppose. Oh, we are witchers. Could always use a few crowns. Thing is, I have a meager purse at the moment. Milf Guardians requisitioned my goods. Now this. Here. Back to the trail. Like I said, leads to the main road and ends there, muddled. You seek someone? Yes, a woman. Medium height, long black hair. Seen anyone like that? No, but there's an inn here in White Orchard. Sole one around gets its share of travelers. Perhaps you'll learn something there? Not a bad idea, especially since that wound needs cleaning. Ah, beast barely grazed me. But sure, could use a good rye, nice and cool, you know, straight from a cellar. Let's go. Check out the bestiary. Griffins. Griffins were once only found in the high mountains where they would hunt marmots and wild goats. When humans encroached on their lands, however, griffins soon discovered a new source of much more plentiful and easier caught prey. Cows, sheep, and shepherds. Though still wary of main roads and towns, these half-eagle, half-wildcat creatures have gone from rarities to often-counted pests known throughout the northern realms. Especially hated are the subspecies known as royal griffins and arctic griffins. And then they're vulnerable against Ard, a bomb, and probably um, a specific decoction. Let's see if we can check that out. Uh, hybrid oil for our sword, grape shot, and Ard sign. So. Griffin this close to the village. Strange. My thoughts exactly. In the forest of the mountains, sure, but here? And near the main road. Maybe it's the war. Corpses everywhere, the stench of blood, burnt flesh. Drives monsters crazy sometimes. Men, too. We need to watch ourselves in White Orchard. And we should leave as soon as we learn anything. Freak. Now, there is a notice board here in town. I'm gonna go grab all of the notices and we'll read the quest that we get from that from the quest log when we go to do them. And so you'll see we picked up a Witcher contract and we picked up a. A secondary quest here so when we go to do those we will check out the we'll read the quest then instead of reading everything on the notice boards what did you say who told you that uh, Jetty. Yes, you can. You'll never have to say the sun shine upon never. you In day. don't mind us just rummaging through your yard and stealing all of your herbs Oops. What do 
saw Ernest prophesy before he turned his head. Rude. What? Take that down before there's trouble. That is your coat of arms, the Temerian lilies. They've a right to hang there. This ain't Temeria no more, old man. It's Nilfgaard now. My arse it is. And so we're in the set middle of the second war with Nilfgaard. And apparently they are winning. What? Witches? And for those of you that don't know, Nilfgaard is a huge empire from the south. It's kind of been taking over everything. Trying to take over everything on the, on the continent for a long time. No need. We're used to it. Folk are jumpy around here. Armies just pass through. Now a griffin's prowling about. Mm -hmm. Already had the pleasure. One mean beast. Mean? Light way for a hunter to put it. Clawed Lena so bad, poor things one foot in the grave. But does no good to wallow in misfortune. How can I be of service? With a drop of vodka for me. And you? Something to wet your tongue. Pretty busy place you got. Nations on the move. Some search for kin, others just want to get out of the way of the armies. They all need food, drink, and a night's rest and warmth. So, war's been good for your trade? Aye, so far. But it'd be best to know peace again. Times like these, you never know what tomorrow will bring. Looking for a woman. Raven-haired, violet eyes, dresses in black and white. Riding in from Willoughby. And, uh, strange as it sounds, lilac and gooseberries might have smelled that. I've not seen nor smelt such a lady. I believe I'd remember. Yeah, especially hard to forget this one. <laughs> Plenty of travelers about, though. Folk from all over. Might be worth your while to ask after her. Is there a contract on that griffin? Nay, not at the moment. Used to be. As soon as a beast had built a nest nearby, the alderman would start a collection, or go to the lord for help. Now the alderman don't use the privy without asking the black one's permission first. And, seems they hanged the lord. So no contract. That'll do it. Shame. We might have done something, but not for free. So yeah, it's part of the Witcher code to only do jobs for coin, or for a favor, or for some kind of payment. Uh, witchers traditionally don't do anything for free. Uh, what items do you have? Show me what you got behind the counter. Some Gwent cards. Uh, I don't think I'll be doing Gwent this playthrough. Probably gonna want to pick up some food. Ooh, these are not cheap. Let's grab some water. Let's grab some bread. Thanks for everything. you bandage that up? Please. I'm not decrepit yet. Then I'll ask about Yennefer. Mm-hmm. Just remember, we'd rather not draw any attention. Here. Black One's been out measuring the fields. Let him measure. 
Better that than... I'm looking for someone. And we seek some peace and quiet. Out of my face, freak. For your breath sours my beer. Okay, so sometimes we'll be able to use our Axie sign to influence people in conversations. Uh, let's try to not do that at first. Just want to talk. You deaf, Stray. No one here will talk to you. If it's company you seek, stick that mangy snout of yours in a trough with the pigs. Wow, very rude. <laughs> Show that shit eater, Micah. Hm. Running low on patience. Once it's gone, your heads will roll. Oh, wow, girl. Oh, we was jesting. No call for anger. See a raven-haired woman here, dressed in black and white? We know nothing, sir. Leave us be. Well, that worked almost as well as Axie. Once more, there are four factions. Four what? Factions, teams, suits, similar to clubs and spades, except each... Looking for a woman. Uh, like everyone. Not like everyone. And not just any woman. Mine smells of lilac and gooseberries, dresses in black and white. Two schnapsies. <laughs> It'll lift your spirits. Sure, why not? Fine, I'll have a drink. Can we cut to the chase? You seen her or not? Yennefer of Vengerberg. Never mentioned her name. Yet you described her perfectly. And once I hear something, I never forget. Can't help it. What do you do? Who are you? A mangy vagrant. Gone to Rodim, at your service. Vagrant? That a profession now? Uh, once a merchant of mirrors. The madding crowd dubbed me Master Mirror, or the Man of Glass. How do you know Yennefer? What a question. Master Dandelion's ballads, of course. The only way a humble merchant might hope to rub up against greatness. Unless, that is, he's as lucky as I am. And runs into a very patient witcher. Into Geralt of Rivia himself. The Butcher of Blaviken. You seen Yennefer? Deepest apologies, but I must ask. Is this about love? Obviously. Guessed it. It's love. I knew it at once. What do you know? Tell me. Before you appeared, it never occurred to me that might have been Yennefer. Who would have thought? Get to the point. An Ilf Guardian scout from the local garrison saw her. Where? At their camp. She rode in there. Dark of night. Black and white, gooseberries and... Yes, I know. Had a terse exchange with the garrison commander and raced off. Where to? <laughs> I'm not omniscient. Ask at the garrison. Thanks. We men of the road must stick together. Perhaps one day I'll be in trouble and you'll be nearby to help. And he disappeared. That's a little weird, right? Done drinking. Mm -hmm. Wait. Then fuck off. What do we do to you? Don't want your kind here. Oh, all right. Better round up someone else to help. Three of you don't stand a chance against me. <laughs> well, I could fuck you up by myself. If I had a bag over my head and my hands tied behind... Actually, no, not even then. Chet, Lesh, back off. I'll teach this vagrant a lesson. Man on freak. Nice meeting 
Well, they asked for it. Alright, where does it have us going next? Alright, telling us all about the map. Let's zoom out a little bit. Okay, so we're going all the way up here. Let's grab the quest in town. And the way we'll try to do things is that while we head to our quest objectives, we'll try to grab some of these um, points of interest along the way on the map and we'll clear out. I basically want to clear out everything. So we're going to mark this one first. Now some of them we might come across and we, we might not be at a level to take them on. It depends on what they are, but we're going to try to investigate them as we go. And where was this quest? Okay. There it is. I don't know. What happened here? Oh, got a wee bit chilly the night, so I set fire to my forge. Got a nice and roaring. Roasted some wieners. <laughs> what do you think happened, Dimwit? Some bugger set a light me, me workshop. I've lost everything. Everything! Sorry. Any suspects? Whole damned village. I've lived here half a century. Thought they saw me as one of their own. But everything changed when the Black Ones came. I'm the only smith around, so I got to serve as their garrison. Banged into to play shoe horses. That sort of thing. Nilf guardians don't pay me a bloody copper. Just give me supplies and orders. But humans can't fathom that. They think I'm getting rich off their misfortune. That I sleep on a pile of gold like a plowing dragon. They've stopped talking to me. Spit when I pass. And now this. I can find your arsonist, provided you're willing to pay. <sighs> I've not much left. But I'll give you all if you bring me that horse in. So that he gets what he deserves. The night of the fire, I heard movement outside my hut. Went out to see if I could find any tracks, but found nothing. But then I haven't got cat eyes, have I? Good luck. Alright, our first investigation. Let's go ahead and track this one. I think we can complete this right around town here. First, I'll turn this back up a little bit. Took off his boots and went in the water. Probably wanted to cover his trail. Making me a slingshot. Gonna hunt. Lost his boots in the rush. Something jumped out of the rushes. Drowners. But he managed to escape. Something jumped out of the rushes. Drowners, but he managed to escape. My grand told me about a smooth boy. Watch it. Dad went missing one day, so folk nabbed a witchman that was hunting nearby, started poking him, asking when he started twisting and squirming. Bleeding, but not badly. Surface wound. Trail ends here, but I'll recognize him by his wounds. That we will. Drowner wounds. Hello there. Drowner claw marks. 
It's gotta be him. Nasty wound. Run into a drowner? What the fuck do you care? Whoa, our arsonist's a charmer too. Come on, Smith wants to talk to you. I ain't talk to a non-human. Sons of bitches all, and dwarves are the worst. Greedy little magpies do anything for gold they will. <laughs> they forge the blades the black ones put to our throats. Am I not right? No, you're totally wrong in this case. Listen, we can work this out man to man. I give you gold, you don't turn me in. My mum died a while back and I sold her tools. I've spent some, but what's left is yours. N no way. Magpies and dwarves might be greedy, but I'm not. Can't buy me. Then I'll beat your fucking mug to a pulp! No, you could try it. Try me, peasant. I could use the practice. Yeah, peasant. Bad idea. Ooh. Oh, he's getting some hits in. Good for him. Oh, shit. We can't roll. For some reason, we're backed against the corner here. There we go. That's enough of that. Ow! Ow! Ah! Oh, stop! Stop! I give up! Damn it! You broke my nose! But not your legs, so let's go see the smith. And take my advice. Don't try anything else. <laughs> Here you go. Oh, there we One go. One village pyromaniac in the flesh. Nap! You! I knew your mum for years. Charged her nary a copper. This is how you repay me. I've had enough. Hey, soldier. A minute of your time, please. No! Willis, I beg you, I, 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 I was drunk, didn't know what I was doing. I've told you, Master Willis. We will help you rebuild once reinforcements come. The supplies have been ordered. Not what this is about, mate. This here's the arsonist. A witcher found him. The forge was important to the garrison. Destroying it was sabotage. No trial needed here. Just a tree. Damn. I've always thought that's a little rough, but we're gonna let him bribe us and let him get away. But yeah, it's a, it's a harsh punishment. Harsh as punishment goes. But deserved. You know, I hated the black ones at first like everybody else did. Now I'm thinking they might just bring order to this place. Teach these layabouts some manners. But enough about that. Your reward. And... I managed to save some things from the fire. Anvil still holds, so I'm sure I can bang something out on it. You need anything, let me know. Give you a good price. Alright, excellent. Think those plums are we can have well, that was easy enough as first quests go. Wanted honeycombs will pay top coin large quantities welcome. Okay. Honeycombs. Can we go into any of these houses? Oh, we can. I might be looting some of these houses. Kings do the fighting. Damn dear, spit the bark off the trees again. I think you've got it tough. You've roof over your head, that's something. In the black deck. All right, let's take a look what we have here. Uh, secondary quest, we can take out some of those first. We have a contract. As it turned out, Geralt was not alone in searching White Orchard for a lost loved one. The Witcher also found the notice of a peasant who was seeking his brother. The brother had left home to take up arms against Nilfgaard. The forces of the North and the Black Ones had then clashed in a great battle near the brother's home village. And the peasant had not heard from his siblings since. 
Where is this one at? Oh, it's over this way. Uh, yeah, we could probably knock this one out first. And that would let us pick up at least a, probably a couple of these fast travel points. Let's set our marker here. And we'll grab the fast travel points. Well, let's go here first. Roach is stuck behind some of the buildings. Let's get out of the village and that'll give him an easier way to get to us. Oh, it's you. That's right. Meet again. Thank you for saving me. So you managed to salvage some goods? Yes, but I await the repair of my wagon. As time passes, my losses grow. Do you need something? Uh, I'll let it go half free. Let me have a look at your stock. Ah, he has some Temerian armor for us. It's light armor, but it is also level 4, and we are level 1. Other than that, we might want to grab a couple of repair kits. And the Griffin decoction? Yeah, we'll need that um, to make our decoction when we go to fight the Griffin. I don't know if we can get it a different way, but... This guy needs Take the coin care. anyway. Alright, let us set out. There she is. Wee -hee -hee. We're oh. snail 